Dr. Spencer Nadolsky here again with part three of how diabetes works and what to do about it, especially with the supplement berberine. Now, in part one, remember, we talked about how our tissues, the muscle and fat, became uh, resistant to our insulin. So our pancreas had to keep revving, revving up to make more insulin to get the nutrients into our cells. Part two, we talked about how the, the pancreas and the liver were a little bit dysfunctional and that, remember that hormone glucagon, was turned on inappropriately and causing our, our sugar factory, the, the liver, to push out more glucose into our um, bloodstream and our glucose would go higher than what we'd like. Now part three, I want to talk about what is called the incretin effect and this is really interesting. It's called incretin because it stands for intestinal secretion of insulin. Now I don't know, I'm pretty fascinated in this because uh, scientists found out that if you injected glucose into your, uh, straight into your bloodstream versus if you just drank it, ingested it somehow, somehow your insulin would go higher when you drank it. You would think that if you put glucose straight into your bloodstream, your insulin would go higher, but it actually doesn't. And the scientists uh, tried to figure it out and they, they decided that there has to be something to do with the gut. So, let me go over what they found out. In a healthy individual, when you ingest some sort of glucose source, sports drink, whatever, pasta, it doesn't matter, the glucose gets into your gut. Now there are some receptors in here uh, that have to do with the incretins. Uh, I'm specifically talking about GLP-1, um, it's called a glucagon-like peptide 1, it, does, it doesn't really matter. But what this does, when the glucose hits the walls, it sends out this incretin. And that tells the pancreas to make more insulin, decrease that glucagon, the stuff that uh, turns on the sugar factory liver, and helps get this stuff, the sugar, into your cells more. It also decreases uh, the gut motility, which makes you feel fuller. And that's why you lose weight when these things work. And, feel, and you feel more uh, satiated, basically. Now, in an insulin-resistant person, diabetic, the story is a little bit different. When they get the glucose source, this insulin resistant person, their incretin effect doesn't work as well. So that means you don't get that special increase in insulin and you also don't get that special decrease in glucagon. So that's another reason why your sugar factory liver is pushing out more glucose and these uh, poor insulin resistant folks, diabetic folks, have higher glucoses than normal people. Now, what can you do about this? Uh, we love berberine because it has effects of insulin sensitivity as well as has effects of increasing this incretin effect. There are other uh, pharmaceutical drugs out there. There are the glyptins, the uh, citagliptin, uh, saxagliptin, um, linagliptin, that actually decrease the breakdown of this incretin effect. Um, and, and so allowing more of your natural uh, incretins to be around to help you out, out this process. There are also injectables that, um, that mimic the effect of this. They're analogs, they're GLP analogs. And these will help you lose weight and take, keep your blood sugar down without making you go hypoglycemic. Because the only way the system works is, is when glucose is in your blood, or in your gut, when you actually ingest it. So it won't, th these won't come out and work uh, just when you have your normal baseline glucose. All right, I hope you learned something today, and remember, uh, you actually make more insulin when you ingest as versus inject it, okay? Until next time.